Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. I am a part-time reseller and I sell my finds on online platforms like eBay and Poshmark as my part-time job. And this is my journey of turning this into my full-time income. Thank you so much for being here today and joining me on this journey. Uh, so it's been a few weeks since I've done a video. Life has just been life. <laughs> That's really all I have to say. Uh, I can talk more about that later, but today's video um, is going to be about sales strategies and how to close sales and how I essentially doubled my sales um, by just changing one thing, doing one one little thing <laughs> differently in my business for the month of October um, to get the sales numbers that I did. So uh, I grossed only $643 um, in September and uh, my net was around $471.74, not around, it was, sorry. <laughs> um, and then for the month of October, my gross sales on Poshmark were $1,193 and my net was $885.54. So huge increase, you guys. Um, and yeah, let's talk about how I did that. Um, like I said, it was just one thing that I changed in my business to be able to achieve this result. So Poshmark is interesting in that uh, it doesn't have an algorithm or it's been stated that uh, Poshmark does not have some sort of an algorithm system. Uh, this can be to your advantage and also your disadvantage. Uh, it can be to your, to your advantage because you have more control over how your items are going to be seen. And it can be to your disadvantage um, because if you're not active on the platform, you're not going to make very many sales. Or if it is kind of pushed to the side, it's going to show up in your sales. Uh, and I'm not immune from that, you guys. I've said that before in uh, what sold videos, um, sales videos, income disclosure videos, whatever you want to call them, where I've stated several times that Poshmark is not something I put a lot of effort into because it's a secondary platform for me. And um, quite frankly, it has really shown up in my sales. <laughs> so uh, I've decided to try just one thing differently and I was pretty blown away by the results. And um, so I'm sure that you're like wanting me to get to the point. <laughs> um, so uh, what I did differently, you guys, is still sharing my closet every single day, at least once a day preferably multiple times a day, that has not changed. But the second thing is listing every day instead of like every other day or every couple days. That was the only thing that I did different, you guys. And I mean, still listing same quality of items, still have around the same average sales price, which by the way, my average sales price, let me grab that for you, for um, November was $23.39. And um, my average sales price in our, uh, September was $20.09. So around that average, average sales price, I hover anywhere between $20 and $28 average sales price across all my platforms, but that stayed about the same. Um, yeah, you guys, I just listed my items every single day. So um, I do daily listings on eBay. And when I say daily, I don't list seven days a week. I never have. Uh, usually is around six days a week. So on those six days, um, instead of listing, cross-listing my items onto Poshmark every other day or every few days, I listed them the same day that I listed them on eBay. And this is the result that I got from just doing that one thing. So I think that that is something that a lot of people could benefit from knowing is that if you list daily or at least, you know, five to six days a week, your items rather than every couple of days, you might see a huge uptick in your sales. But it makes sense though, because your, your items, when you list them, they're going to be pushed up in you know, the brand new categories just in, it's gonna be seen by a lot more people and it just really helps to boost the visibility of your item. So it makes sense. So my suggestion to you is let's say you, 
uh, whatever your uh, listing goal for the week is. Just divide that up about um, five to six, maybe even seven days a week and just see what happens. Um, I have a feeling though that you're probably going to see an uptick in sales just because like I said, without there being an algorithm, you are really controlling how your item and when your item, where your item is being seen in the platform. So that's the only thing I did, you guys. <laughs> I hope that this was helpful. This is going to be a quick video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below some of your strategies that you have tried to increase your sales. Have you tried this method before? Has it been successful for you? Um, just leave it down for me below. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.